Because it seems like we, we go through life and, and we're always being told what to do. You should do this, you shouldn't do that. Man-made laws are, are really there to control society, aren't they? Yes. And, and sometimes people become rebellious and they're, they're sick of all that. Uh, Good evening, Australia. Welcome to the show, Tough Times TV with Michael Kazilny. Thank you very much for the pleasure of your company. And um, uh, life gets interesting, doesn't it? I know a lot of people viewing uh, are going through some difficult issues, a lot of addictions in Western society, a lot of people on drugs, on ice. That's a real epidemic. A lot of people splitting up. I don't know why so many people are bluing these days, but everyone's splitting up, you know. They, they live together, and then once they get married, for some reason, the first 12 months, you know, the family lawyers are cleaning up. Anyway, enough about that. A great man, Jason and Andreessen, on the couch. About 18 months ago, he decided he's going to stop mucking up and getting in trouble with the law. He was just sick of all that. It's 20 years behind bars, and um, he's a terrific fella, and he's got a good story to share. A good story to share, Jason. How was the drive down? Good, thanks, mate. Yourself? Where do you live now? <laughs> Bankburn, mate. Yeah, where's that again? It's um, about uh, 25 mile out of Geelong. And you've got a good heart because you're helping some bloke there who is a, uh, he's handicapped or something, isn't he? Yeah, that's the landlord, mate. Yeah, so he's, uh, he's, got, a, he's got a few disabilities and uh, mental issues uh, encouraged from um, the good old dice. that's, uh, you know, an epidemic at the moment. Uh, yeah. He's, uh, when you first went to prison, Jason, uh, ice wasn't around, was it? No, there's no such thing, mate. No? No, 1988, I think it was. So, yeah. Huh? In 1988. And you, you were never a, a heroin addict or, no, or? No, no, no. No? No. What was your first, tell us about the serious crimes, you know, we didn't discuss that last time, but. Serious crime, armed robberies. Um, the most serious was armed robberies, yeah. yeah. Never killed anybody? Well, no. No? No. You can't recall? No. 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 But Jason, uh, some people say our prison system is pretty, um, it's not that pointless. It's not that harsh, you know. So, yeah. so to end up um, in prison, we've got to do some pretty bad stuff, don't we? Yes, of course. So, yeah. so there was a continuous. Um, you were hanging around with the wrong troops, yeah. Yeah, with the wrong boys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sixteen, I guess. Uh, started knocking yeah. out the wrong guys and yeah. you know, handing guns and stuff and yeah, you know, yeah. Was it fun in those days? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, not no, because really, no. isn't it amazing, so, folks? How some people, you know, they go to private schools, they end up becoming accountants, you know, doctors and lawyers and you know, teachers and um, and, and and the path we take and the environment we spend in, all of a sudden, other people go down Jason's path. But it's all a learning lesson, isn't it? It is. Well, Mum, you had a good growing up. Normal. Good growing up. Yeah. Well, you yeah. know, uh, you know, normal. Yeah. I suppose today everything's normal, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But you yeah. seem very happy now with all your exercise and everything. You're training hard? No, not really. Just, you know, yeah. Are you happy today? Yeah, it's been a long day, Mike. So We're both a bit tired, bro, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, a bit tired today. Yeah. yeah. I like the way, um, uh, I, I, it's like we've known each other for a long time, but I saw him at Danny on Court a few weeks ago, and there was a young fellow there who was a bit of a gangster, you know? He was selling eyes, and um, he was mm. um, blooming with his girlfriend, and he had 5000 dollars cash in his um, pocket which he didn't pay for my legal fee he said he was broke like most of my clients but um, but I, I told the uh, barbarian to go outside and give him a bit of an attitude adjustment and uh, sometimes I think uh, people young blokes have attitude problems that not someone needs to come along and give him an attitude adjustment you had a bit of a check to him outside didn't you yeah young John home mate yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. You, can't, you can't do much for him you know? can't he's, do much he's, he's, he's got his own I guess his own, own direction you know yeah because it seems like we, we go through life and, and we're always being told what to do. You should do this, you shouldn't do that. Man-made laws are, are really there to control society, aren't they? Yeah, yes, and and yeah. sometimes people become rebellious and they're, they're sick of all that um, being told what to do all the time, you know? No one likes being told what to do. Either. No. Yeah, Re really do, do people say, just be yourself, Jason and Dreesen, just be yourself, you know? Yeah, well, there's a lot out there that can't be themselves, Mike, unfortunately. No. You know? But you must have done a lot of self-development um, uh, in prison, um, Jason, you know. What did you study there? Well, I studied uh, fitness instructor, uh, this, that, um, I uh, guess, uh, you know, warehousing. And there's a lot of stuff you can study in there, which is, you know, only 
you know, limited, of course, we can't get to university and stuff. But, no. Uh, it's quite an amazing journey you've had, isn't it? It's quite bizarre. You speak to some people and they say, oh, I've lived in England for 10 years, I've lived in um, South Africa for 15 years, and, and you, you say you've lived in a uh, prison environment for 20 years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're still so wholesome. You, was there ever a point when you thought, oh, I'm sick of this stuff, I'm, how do you escape out of this joint? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you, you've got to wake up to yourself sooner or later. Yeah. Um, either inside or outside, you know. Um, they stay, statistically, it's between 28 and 32, the change age. So, you know. Um, what is it? Between 28 and 32, you know. That's yeah. when you change, is it? You decide to, yeah. Yeah. It's you know, either you're yeah. going to be or you're not going to be. So, yeah. You know. when, when you're doing the armed robs, obviously you get away with some and um, you get caught for some, and, and you get a bit of cash, you know. Mm. And we go to the casinos, we have a good no, life. Was, no. there, was there a few sort of months or a few years when you're cashed up and, and you just uh, lived like the wolf on Wall Street? No. No? No. So you weren't very good armed robber then? Well, uh, well, I didn't do it for uh, personal gain. I just don't have to pay the bills, so, you know. Oh, just to pay the bills? Yeah, mum's bills, yeah. So they were just small, you didn't well, get much? You know. Well, you know, well, you know. Undisclosed amounts, you know. But um, with, with the undisclosed amounts, though, hmm. you know, did you have that, that lifestyle, that lavish lifestyle like we see on the, uh, on the no. Sopranos, you know? If they, if they choose to, I guess, you know. Did um, you do it? No. No? No, it's overrated. So what did you do with all the, all the cash? I think the, the movies that make it overrated, don't they? Yeah. They do. Yeah, they do, yeah. Too much bullshit. Yeah. So what did you do with the money? Yeah. Like, well, how did you have fun? I'm trying, bills, to, so, uh, trying to get into your mind how you sort of had fun. You know, it's like a little kid stealing. Like I remember, I went to Myers years ago, and I found these balloons in this um, in this little um, drawer. You know, these party balloons, and I knocked off a few. You know, good fun. Yeah, yeah, gives you that sort of joy. Yo-yo strings was my first, just by the way. Yo-yo strings. Yeah, and then it sort of escalated. Yeah. yeah What's so the worst thing you ever did, Jason Andreessen? The worst thing I ever did. Um, Be honest with your brother here. Ah, um, robbery is probably the worst thing I could do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Describe. Um, solo, solo stick up, you know. Um, by yourself? Yeah, by myself. Yeah, all, all the times, five times I was by myself. Didn't trust anyone? Uh, don't take hostages, you know. No? Yeah, yeah. Don't, you know, I won't do time with uh, holding hands with anyone, so, you know. No, by yourself? Yeah, by myself, yeah. So it takes brazen, you know, it takes balls to do that sort of stuff, by yourself. We might talk um, about... Um, you're it's growing bit, up, yeah, but uh, it just teaches you to, to be, uh, I guess, to um, back in the uh, back in the days when it was. Uh, we might talk about back in the days. Uh, we'll be back very shortly with Jason and Bruce. It's a very interesting interview. Don't go away. Welcome back to the show, Tough Times Never Last. Jason Andreessen spent about uh, two decades behind bars at some of uh, Australia's toughest prisons. Um, he was just telling me in the break, uh, one time when he worked at the Ford Motor Company, he slipped out and um, did a, uh, a bit of an armed rob to uh, pay the rent. So, so was it lunchtime or the morning smoke, Jason? No, it was after afternoon uh, tea, so I guess it was about... 15 eight, minutes? 7.30, 8 o'clock, yeah. In the morning? No, no, PM, yeah, PM. Oh, did you work yeah, afternoon yeah. shift? Yeah, so I clocked on, clocked off. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, so that's a good alibi, isn't it? I mean, lunch break, I've got about half an hour, I think, so I just ran across the road and done a stick up and, uh, yeah, suited up and done the job and uh, went back to work after it. So parked the car and back in the Ford Motor Company um, car park. It's not very good publicity, but... No. No. Um, no, it's not good publicity, but it's, yeah. uh, you, you got away with it and then... Yeah. You did a few of these. And well, I was, I was only 16 and a half then. So you were I was, just I was a young a fella. A, a bit of a big noter then. But then you progressed. Yeah. To bigger jobs. Yeah. But then the constabulary would come and knock on the door. It always happened, didn't it? Yeah, six weeks later, I was, uh, I was in Adelaide, actually, and uh, I was uh, working for the uh, show. So I drove his truck back from Adelaide and they arrested me. Uh, I think it was just... Uh, yeah, and um, outside my cousin's place, I was just yeah, I was driving this big massive truck in one of the side shows, and I was 17 without a license, driving trucks and stuff, you know, and uh, and uh, yeah, I got arrested there, and I went to jail. So did you ever way. put up a big fight? 
ever on the run? Look, I'm not. Oh, look, there's no point in fighting something you've done. I guess is there? No, I don't know. You, know, you must surrender to the fact that you're must guilty. Must surrender. You know. Um, I think if, if the police are good enough to uh, the catch you, I, I must be good enough to admit the crime, I reckon. Right. I think it's only honourable, isn't it? I, I think so. Yeah, it's like a game of chasey, I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, to me it is. Yeah. 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 That, that's a very um, honourable way to, uh, to look at it, yeah, Jason. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to waste the time. So, you no. Know, if they're good enough to, you know, click on, well, I'm good enough to click off, so, you know. But then you'd go inside. Yeah. You'd have some, um, some fancy schmancy lawyer. You'd pay him well, a bit no, of... no, Rob Starry or someone like that might. Uh... He's a good man. Oh, he's a good man. Yeah, yeah, Rob. Yeah. And 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 that um, you know, hand up the reports, da da da. Would you always be able to guesstimate the uh, the time you'd get once you've done a bit of time? Yeah, you become an it's, expert it's usually, on that. Well, when you when you get sentenced, it's usually your minimum becomes your maximum next time. So oh, well, your maximum becomes your minimum next time. So you yeah, know, my first one was two years, four years. The second one was four years, six years. Six, the third Do you think sometimes you could just stand there without a lawyer and just stand there and yeah, get the yeah, same I've result? Yeah, I've done that before. Yeah, I've, you know, I've, I've represented myself. I'll Do you think so. maybe there's a going rate, and uh, you know, maybe yeah. uh, lawyers are superfluous? Do you ever I've actually that? helped guys in jail get out of jail, believe it or not. Have you? They, they didn't know the system how they how they, how they can first timers. You know, um, one yeah. guy I shared a cell with in Prague, and uh, it was the first time he was in for uh, whatever he was in for, and. Uh, and he couldn't get out of jail, but he had he, uh, police were opposed to him, uh, were opposed to his bail. Um, he was worth, you know, millions of dollars. And he couldn't get out of jail because of the police were opposing him. Well, I said, well, I just, I just, you know, threw it at him. Just said, well, we'll put it into a, I guess, a psycho psychological state of mind and uh, get the maybe suggest to the judge, said to the defence to, to maybe uh, suggest a, um, a psychological grounds of getting out. You know, exceptional circumstances, maybe that sort of thing. And it worked. He actually got out. And he was quite thankful and. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, yeah. So you get to know all the terms, yes, all the sentencing yeah, yeah. regimes. He actually gave me a kick of 25 grand for getting him out, so that wasn't too bad. It's not bad, is it? Yeah, yeah so you know, it was quite interesting. God, and he had a bit of cash out on the outside. Yeah, he was quite, you know, successful. Yeah. Did you ever have... You must have met some good good blokes who um, who left earlier than you. And yeah. they oh, said, A lot of good blokes are dead, you know. Well, catch you know, up, are they? Yeah, they mixed up with the heroin, I guess. Yeah. yeah. You, you never know, got into that, did you? No, I learned from them, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Were you always fit in in uh, Always prison? fit, yeah. Always trained. Uh, always trained since I was about seventeen, I think. So yeah. And now, yeah, Jase, you know. at forty-four, you, you don't want to go back there. No, I certainly finished with that life, mate. You finished with that life? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 There's no winners and grinners in there, mate. It's just no. you know, full of mugs and slugs, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But you know how we look back on the landscape of our life and we sort of say, yeah, even those difficult times we went through, the relationships, the muck-ups, it's it's all part of who we've become. Do you, do you guess, sort of? Yeah. Th there must have also been beauty in the um, in the sorrow. Yeah, I've met some. You know, I've met some fantastic people, Mike. So you know, yeah, um, there are. They're not all bad people in jail. You know, no. people got stories to tell. No, um, we we had a priest here one time, and um, he uh, killed his wife. You know, because um, she had an affair with his another priest, and and oh. he called it a. Um, he never mentioned the word murder, but he was called mercy. A, 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 a mercy killing or something, you yeah. know. Yeah, I've heard but he ended up doing 13 years, but um, hmm. he was a real sort of a straight guy. He didn't swear. He was really prim and proper. Were, were there sort of um, yeah, absolutely, characters yeah. like that yeah, in, were, in prison? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, it usually comes down to relationships of why they're in jail too, you know. The same, same similar type of stories, you know. Yeah. yeah de factos and stuff. And, it's yeah. amazing, isn't I it? I mean, a few like that. And, you know, it's amazing. Lo love, love and hate, it's a, it's a very close um, border, isn't it? We see it in the yeah, courts yeah. a lot, don't we? We do. We're yeah. seeing a lot more domestic yeah. violence, you know? In, in, in jail, it's quite, it's quite frequent, domestic yeah. violence. It's, uh, you know, it's um, yeah. quite scary at times. Uh, Was there many blokes who, uh, who were still married and their wives came to visit uh, on a regular basis? Or Ab did you find absolutely, them? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. There's a lot of standing over of visitors in jail. Um, for drugs, yeah. Um, people go and visit their, you know, their, their partners or something in jail, and 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 they find out they're being stood over, you know. And unfortunately, it happens and for drugs. You know, and people are getting drugs sent to their houses, and their visitors are bringing it in. You know, it's really sad. You yeah, know? drugs are really really destroying people. You know, inside prison as well. It's um, and there's been a few prison guards who've been um, charged for all sorts of things in the last d decade. You know. Yeah. For bring well, stuff well, in, look, and the, the money's poor, you know. I understand. Yeah. You know, it's uh, it's not yeah. a very good wage working in a prison. It takes you know, it takes a lot of courage to work amongst you know, 
you know, the, I guess the world's worst people, you know. Yeah. And Is it hard um, on the outside, Jason? At times, it's it's yeah. hard to, to to find direction, and when you don't know anything, it's you know, it's. I, I have days where I just want to, you know, <clears throat> pick up a, go back to the past, you know, and 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 you know, but uh, then I look at the missus and think about her and. I when you say go back to the past, go back to being younger, or I'll go back to just you know making easy cash, you know. Oh yeah, yeah it's, it's it, but it's look, it's it's not worth. It's hard to make money, isn't it? It's, but you have got to stop and think, Mark, and, and weigh it up, and yeah, you know, is it worth the risk? You know, yeah, but, um, you know, this day and age, you, you can't. It's not. There's no life in jail. It's, you know, it's it's a lot of guys in, in my age from jail uh, kill themselves when they get out. They don't know any. Do they? Yeah. They ever kill we themselves. might talk about yeah what the programs they offer, but uh, we'll be back very shortly. Uh, Jason and Dreesen, he's a good man. All the best. Welcome back. Thank you for the pleasure of your company. Jason Dreesen telling us about his uh, life behind bars. Two decades. I don't think I could do it being locked up in a cage. Um, but you're not locked up all the time, are you? I couldn't do it. No, no, not I'll get really. claustrophobic even in an elevator. Um, could you do it? 16 hours a day, you're locked down. Um, could you do it? you got no choice in there, have you? Really? If you're in there, you don't have a choice. If you, if you try and rebel, I guess, against the... Um, I get, um, uh, Did you ever watch a show called The Life in Crime? The show I used to do? No, I've never got into those shows, mate. No. So I've never watched, I've never been no. influenced by TV. No. I watch it. So. What was your favourite um, uh, pastime in, uh, in, in prison? Pastime? I was a tailor in there, so. Tailor? Yeah, I was a bit of a tailor, so. Wow. Yeah, I've done 11 years tailoring, so. I made my own clothes. Yeah. And Jason, relationships mm. now, you've got, um, you, you've had a couple of relationships. Must be great to come out. When did you come out? Uh, December 2010. 2010. Yeah. And um, you've got a nice personality, you're humble, you're down to earth, and um, few ladies have walked into your life? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah? Yeah, yeah I do have an honourable sort of, you know, is way it, about me, I guess. But, uh, is, it, um, is it nice to be in a relationship? What do you find because you haven't been in a relationship for that long? Or you, you, it, is it like being a young kid again? You've got a sort of... You don't know the rules? Look, we're all kids at heart, I guess. Um, mm. um, You're back with your lady now, huh? Yeah, You've had a few so ups we had a three-month break, so that yeah. was pretty good. So, you know, it helped us, and um, yeah. we've overcome a, you know, a couple of hurdles since then, I guess. before you went to prison, th th there was respect. Pe blokes used to open the doors for the girls. You probably still do that. Yeah, because I still do that. You still yeah, do that? Yeah, I still do that, yeah. Because you, 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 old school, you know. Because uh, it's a very broken world with a lot of broken people. People have turned very selfish. They do. And I think people are becoming more selfish all the time, aren't they, folks? Mm -hmm. There's little kindness um, in the world these days. You know, you smile at people, you say, "How are you going? How are you?" And they go, "Oh, do you know me, dear?" Yeah. Not, not many people are sort of like, you know, greeting each other. Everyone's wearing their masks and everyone's comparing. You know, how much has he got? And has that person got a nicer car? No. What about your driver's license? You didn't drive yeah. in prison. No, no, I've, I've, I've held, the, I think I've one of the most uh, longest holding L plate drivers in Victoria. <laughs> I think I've held it for about 17 years. Um, <laughs> 17 years. Yeah, 17 Do years. they cancel it after five, five years these days? No, I've actually um, just, um, just recently, I've just uh, booked in for my P's. So, have you? Yeah. So. You haven't been driving that bloody truck unlicensed in the country, Oh, no, I definitely won't drive a truck, no. I hope not. No. Serious offence. Yeah, if they catch you. Didn't fast. some girl want to give you a truck? A girl fell in love with you yeah, and wanted to yeah, give you a truck? Yeah, well, it happens sometimes. You know. Yeah, did you take the no, truck? I or? No, I wouldn't do that, no. 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 And, and Jason, now, th at the age of 44, yeah, mm. is materialism that important, you know? It doesn't mean a thing to me. Has it changed in yeah, your mindset? Well, it's changed to everyone else. Uh, huh? Unfortunately, it's changed to everyone else. Yeah. You know, but um, well, I'm happy yeah. with the little luxuries I've got, little privileges I, I, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm entitled to. So, what's what's luxury for you? Like, uh, for example, like what, what's a real luxury? Luxuries to be able to go to, I guess, the milk bar or the shop. Uh, that's a luxury to me. So yeah, anytime I like. Yeah. Um, 
We were talking about before about Outside. synchronicity, you know? Like, like mm. once we get into our 40s, we realise that we think about something that we're transmitting energy, and if we think about something hard enough, you get that phone call, you were saying you're thinking about your girlfriend before and she yeah, texts you. Exactly. This sort of stuff's happening more and more, isn't it? The more we communicate with the universe, God, yeah. the higher power, it, it, it becomes a uh, almost... Um, hmm. I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying, yeah. You're getting that? Yeah, I'm getting in touch with that, yeah. You're getting in touch with that? I do, yeah. Because we never used to believe it when we were younger you know, karma or whatever you think about busy, expanse. Too, I suppose we're too busy to even think about it, really. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think that's what happened to most people, isn't it? They think about the past and the future and today, and mm. most people are, are pretty broken, aren't they? In fact, we're all broken, aren't we? Do you think I'm broken? Too busy being broken. You said last time I was broken. You said, MK, you've got a lot of things on your you've mind. You've got a lot of things on your mind. You were talking about my relationship yeah. at well, home, well, well, and you knew. Well, you guessed. You guessed it. Yeah, and I told you. Yeah. Because MK doesn't lie. I'm always straight down the chute. Well, well, I wasn't asking questions. No, but you knew. You had a knowledge. I had a feeling. Mm. So relationships are very difficult, aren't they? They are. Sometimes. Yeah, Yeah, they're not really difficult, I guess, um, if you understand them. But uh, they can be. Jason, children? Do you see the kids? Um, Not so much. Off and on, you know. You see them? I have ex-girlfriends and stuff. And, you know, it's it's hard to um, communicate with, I guess... um, what do you, you know? What do you do for the old cash money? Um, I grow trees. What do you? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? Money trees. They're pretty common. <laughs> so. Now you got a job? No, I don't think I could handle a job. To no. Be honest, no. So I, I work for myself. I just build computers and ad- advise training and um, work a bit of demolition here and there. And oh, you do? Asbestos removal. Yeah. Wow. That sort of stuff, you know. Where, where are you living? Eh? Wherever. Man of all trades. Yeah, wherever. Yeah. So you, you, you're earning an income? And what, yeah. <laughs> what are the plans for the next five years? <laughs> what are the plans for the next well, five I, years? I, I for the next five days, I don't know. You're doing um, your best. Yeah, and that's all so, you can do, really. Yeah? Yeah. And I suppose sometimes we can wake up, folks, and we don't have to do our best. We don't need to be, do our best all the time, you know? I, th- I think these perfectionists who, who are trying to create a perfect world, they're the ones who often have breakdowns, you know? But um, uh, it's a very imperfect world full of, full of imperfect people, you know? And, um, uh, and, and, you know, we shouldn't always um, compare and judge people, you know? No. You know, when you look, walk into the bank, sometimes they look at you and go... That's not our job. No, yeah, like you, when, judge, when you yeah. walked in, you said, oh, your shoes. You know? I like your shoes. They, you said they, they look a bit they, gay. Well, we won't talk about that. <laughs> now, you didn't want they, to talk. They look, they look. Well, like, they look nice. They you look know? tap dancing shoes, you know. They're nice and shiny. Yeah. What's your advice yeah. to the people, the gangster, young gangsters out there selling ice, manufacturing ice, you know, just, just, um, they've been watching too many you know, these underworld movies and, and, and they're living a, uh, you know, they're just being crooks and they're going to end up behind bars. Is it the life you want to lead? Oh, look, uh, they, they've got a big surprise coming, you know, to them, I guess, once they go to prison. It's not like, uh, it's not like the movies. So, you know. Jason, thanks for sharing. It's nice that you're so um, hmm. real, you know, and I appreciate that. Because even people, these ha- fancy schmancy people with degrees and stuff, you know, they're not very real. Thanks, bro. No, appreciate it, mate. Right. You're a good man. Anytime. And thanks very much for watching. Thanks for being so real tuning in every week. Love and best wishes and hope you get over your difficult times. Good night.